All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Uh, so let's start with the one, um, you know, this first one right here. Obviously, they look like they're parallel just by looking at them. But for us to prove that, we have to determine this by finding the slope of the line. So um, I'm going to actually use um, a, a little orange line to look at my rise and run here. So if I look at that point right there and I go up and over, we just need to count. I'm kind of like making a little right triangle on my screen. But I'm trying to figure out what that rise and run are. So I just need to count up and over. So in this case, it looks like I go up one, two, and then I go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So this slope looks like it's two over eight. I want to check the one below it to make sure that it's the same exact thing. So I'm going to use another right triangle. I'm going to count, go up and over and count. It looks like it's up one, two, over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just going to write the equation down or the slope down one time. I'll do it in this orange right here. But the slope of both of these lines is 2 over 8, which we should probably also simplify that to 1 over 4. And let me just move this over a little bit. Uh, but that is what it should look like. So they both actually have that same slope. So we know that these two lines are parallel. So we could confidently say now that they're parallel because we know parallel lines have the same slope. All right. Hopefully that one makes sense. Uh, let's go look at the next one here. Uh, same thing with the next one. I'm going to use some uh, straight lines here uh, to you know, take a look at this here. Uh, I'm going to start with the one with a positive slope first. So I'm going to make a little right triangle. I'm going to go up one and over three. So that first one, uh, the one with the positive slope looks like it's a rise of one and a run of three. And then this other one with a negative slope looks like I go down three over one. Let me write both of those slopes in there and then we'll talk about if they are uh, perpendicular to each other. I, I think they look like it just by looking at it, but again, the um, uh, the the slopes really tell us if they are or not. So the one with the positive slope was a rise of one and a run of three, and the other one was a rise of negative three and a run of one. I'm just going to put that negative up in the numerator. All right, and so I'm going to look at these two slopes here, and I'm going to compare them. All right. So it looks like they're perpendicular, but the math proves that they are because those two slopes we would say are negative reciprocals. We could also say they're opposite reciprocals. You see how the numbers are flipped around. One of them is one over three, the other is three over one, and then obviously one of them is negative. So I would be able to confidently say that um, um, that that equation or that those two lines are perpendicular to each other. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope that makes sense.